there, St. John's. I bring you greetings today from our Savior Jesus and from all of our staff here at the church that we call home. It sure has been awesome having so many of you join us for online worship these past several months since the COVID outbreak began, and even more of you that have since come back for live socially distanced worship since our reopening. Today, I've got something new to share with you regarding worship. Beginning this weekend, we are going to align ourselves with the guidelines of St. Louis County and require all people coming to live public worship at St. John's to wear face coverings. Now, I know that we're in Jefferson County and are therefore not required to do this. I, and I also know that this issue surrounding face masks has become highly politicized. In truth, there are so many people that have strong feelings on this issue. So let me tell you why we as a staff and as a board of elders have made this move right now and why we believe it to be the correct one. First off, and you may not even realize this, but before we even opened up for live public worship at the end of May, we waited a couple of weeks longer than was required by our own county. We did this because we recognize that about half of our members live in and or work in nearby St. Louis County. So we're choosing to align ourselves once more with the stricter guidelines out of respect for our parishioners at St. John's, as well as the officials that are trying to create and foster safe gatherings. And that really leads to the second, even more important reason for our doing this. We're doing so because we feel like this is a way that we can show love to each other. And you know at St. John's, we believe very strongly that we are God's beloved children. And that we are therefore called to be loved to each other. In fact, Jesus said, by this will all people know that you are my disciples. So here's how it's all going to work. When you arrive, you're going to be greeted by volunteers who will hold the door open for you and offer you some hand sanitizer and now also a mask. So if you've forgotten or left yours at home, please thank them. Take one from them, put it on, and come in for worship. As always, let the hostess in the lobby know that you are here and enter the sanctuary ready to worship and praise the Lord in our socially distanced and continuously cleaned church. Masks will be required for every person over the age of nine in accordance with those current St. Louis County guidelines. And again, we have plenty of them. We ask that you please keep those on then for the duration of your time in the building. The one exception is that when you do come up for Holy Communion, please remove it to receive the gifts of Christ and then put it on right after and just before making your way back to your seat. And of course, if you cannot join us for any reason, well, know first of all that we miss you and we sure hope that you'll join us for our live streamed worship starting at 930 on Sunday morning. If that time doesn't work for you, a recording of that service will be available on our website right after the live stream service is over. So please check it out. And I want to say again, thank you in advance for your kindness in this matter and for your understanding and for the love being shown to your fellow man. God's blessings to you all.